Not bad. Not bad. Today we're checking out Epoch batteries. This is a golf cart lithium iron phosphate, but it's 48 volts and look how small it is. They cram 16 cells in this little tiny case. And this looks really nice. The case and the quality, everything looks fantastic. Now this battery is one of four for a golf cart conversion kit. So they give you four of these batteries, a bus bar and lots of cables to connect them together. Compare that to RoyPow where they give you a large battery and you just hook it up to the golf cart. But this one fits in the standard size for those six volt and eight volt Trojan golf cart batteries. So this is better for conversion kits on older golf carts. And for this video, we're gonna install this in a golf cart and I actually bought one. And it's a little bit older, so this should fit perfectly inside. But before we do that, we need to rip this thing apart and see all 16 cells connected in series. Cause look how small this is. Like I just wanna see the inside so bad. Now first off, the max charge current at 48 volts is 30 amps. Max discharge current is 60 amps, so if you have four of these in parallel, you should be able to push 240 amps. Then it has a typical voltage range for a 16S configuration. And then 30 amp hours each means 120 amp hours with four of them, and about 1500 watt hours. So that's gonna be 6,000 watt hours for a single golf car, which will give you a phenomenal range. And it's in a case that is very nice. I think other battery manufacturers should do this. This is fantastic. Now on the top, we have the positive and negative terminal, but they're pretty close for being a 48 volt battery. I could put my hand across this. So you want to ensure that you protect these terminals when you do the installation. And then we have an on and off switch and indicator light and two communication ports. Now before we rip this thing apart, I want to mention that their other batteries look just like RoyPow. And this is also like the same build quality as a RoyPow. So maybe it's manufactured by the same people, which would be fantastic. I really like those batteries. Yeah, they even have 48 volt ones. These look just like the RoyPows. Now the RoyPow batteries, I talked to some golf cart shops because they use those for their conversion kits. And all of the ones that I talked to said that they haven't had a single failure. And even some of my viewers who sell RoyPow batteries, again, have not had a single failure. So whoever's making these things, they're doing a fantastic job. I really like whoever's making the RoyPow lineup, all of them. Anyways, let's rip this thing apart and see what's inside. We have to be careful though, this is a 48 volt battery and I don't know the state of charge. If RoyPal makes solar batteries, I'm gonna buy them. I'm telling you guys, they are nice. They even have T-Class fuses in the large packs. Like they're so well designed, it's crazy. I really should email them or try to get some of our distributors that we like to carry them. Maybe RoyPow or Epoch batteries, or maybe Epoch or RoyPow, I have no idea. I need to ask these companies, I really don't know much about them. Whew, just beautiful. Oh my God, I love these batteries, man. Look at all these communication cables. Oh, there we go. Oh no, these are glued so good, I can't take them off. Oh, maybe we can remove this whole BMS by removing these screws. Look how large this BMS and heat sink is for one that can only do 60 amps. That is complete and utter overkill. There's transistors on both sides. That's probably why they don't have any failures. These are designed to handle inductive loads, so they have to over-engineer them. This one does not have a braking resistor like the large Roy Pals, so yeah, it has to take all of that. Also notice there's a waterproof seal along this whole thing. Now look at that. Those are 30 amp hour cells in series. I wonder who makes these. I've never seen these before. Oh, here's a temp sensor, temp sensor, temp sensor, and temp. So we've got four of them. All right, I do not want to hurt this and I actually need this in the golf cart. So let's put it back together very carefully and actually test it out. That's some battery porn right there, guys. Right. For marine grade, I would choose these over Battleborn and most of the other ones. These are like the same price nowadays, so geez. So now we're gonna install this into a golf cart. <laughs> also, this is not an old golf cart. This is actually a 2019. I got it for $5,000. Introducing my new golf cart. Unlike my other one, this one's not lifted. And that's nice because it's easier to get in and out of, and it has a little stainless steel box in the back. These are called lead acid batteries. And back in the olden days, people used to use these with solar. Those were the dark ages of solar. 
Oh, it has a watering system. Look at that. Ugh, I do not like lead acid. Oh boy. God, these things are heavy, man. <laughs> I always forget. The specific energy on these is awful. Oh, this one looks nasty. And it's bulging and there's lots of corrosion. Typical lead acid battery. <sighs> so nice. These are like one fourth the weight, maybe less. So now I connected all of the positives to this bus bar down here and I mounted it there. And now we just have to do the negatives. Now we need to connect these together with the communication cables. These are not long enough to reach. Yeah, none of them are, darn it. Technically you shouldn't need to use these, but yeah, that's unfortunate. So I guess we can just turn the batteries on. Let's press the on button. We've got a green light on all the batteries. Yes, it works. All right, let's go drive it around the neighborhood. That was quick. The hardest part was moving these stupid lead acid batteries. It does have a state of charge meter, but I'm gonna install that later because I don't really need it. I connect these to solar. I add a solar charge controller later, and then I plug some solar panels in. And those chargers are very small compared to the large charger that it actually came with. And it's heavy, like this thing's big. So yeah, I'm just gonna use solar to charge it. Woo, it is fast. So this is my other golf cart and it's still working great. It has the Roy Pal battery. And now we're gonna test out this golf cart. Guys, this thing's pretty fast. Gotta love America. Home of the golf cart. Seems to be working pretty good. I went up the hill that usually trips the other batteries, but this one held out. And if it does fail in a couple months, I'll let you guys know, because those videos are more fun. When everything works, it's kind of boring. So yeah, pretty simple build. Just throw some batteries in there and hook them up. And if you want your own kit, I'll have affiliate links down below. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.